I'm baking for you, baking for me. I'm baking for my whole family. Check it out. Hey, Spare Boosters, how you guys doing? It's Miss Janita, Vlogmas Day 15. And today I'm doing a pork skimpy meat meal dish. Okay, I haven't really decided on which one I'm gonna do. If it's gonna be the pork stew um, with skimpy vegetables and some cornbread, or if it's gonna be I mean, pork enchiladas with some yellow rice and open up a can of beans. I don't know which one it's going to be, but it's in between two. I'm, I'm really bearing toward the enchiladas, but I really want the stew too. <laughs> I'm not going to do both. I don't know. It's a possibility, shoot, I don't know, to make both dishes because... That way I will be stretching the meal on this meat because I chopped the pork all up. I could make the stew and the enchiladas. You know what, that might be a great idea. I might do both of those things. Yeah, and then I don't have to cook for a couple of days, two, three days at the most, which is good because I won't be using any other food in the pantry or the freezer because I'll just we'll just be eating off of this food here and it ain't nothing better than the next day everything has saturated in the flavors and everything into the food so it's even better the next day so yep so I guess that's the menu pork stew and pork enchiladas Yellow rice or rice aroni or chicken. It could be either the lime rice aroni or the yellow rice for the enchiladas and the can of beans, black beans, carabani, carabani, which I'm trying to say, I forgot how to pronounce it. I didn't forget, I just forgot. I can't see the word right now. <laughs> but one can of beans, it could be pinto, white, navy, uh, some kind of bean and uh to go with the enchiladas and um uh, let me see that mean oh i have to chop up some what's my color i gotta find my olives i don't know where my dang olives is so but hope you guys are enjoying your day my butt is hurting i have to stand up for a second tmi <laughs> um hope everybody's enjoying their day do with your holiday shopping I am through and done because I'm going to be very miser. <laughs> a miser. Not spending all my money. You ain't getting all my money, you dog on department stores and grocery stores. You know, most go to the grocery store and other places, other bills, obligations, responsibilities. You have to do this or else oh you guys guess what's coming back on for the new season i think it's called reacher it's on prime and i believe the whole season is out for season two reacher is a good show if you have prime and remember i told you you can get peacock free if you um subscribe to um get a subscription to the instacart and you can get Peacock for free. Peacock, like I had informed you all, has um, often shows a lot of movies from the, when you go to the theater, they have it on Peacock. And I just wait, I don't even, I don't spend my money even to rent movies anymore. I just wait till they come on TV because I feel so hurt when I purchase something then the next week or two is free. Mm -hmm. The only movie now that I really want to uh, watch is with uh, Goldie Hawk. It's called The Sea. And her movie is not cheap to get. 
that movie they want I think thirteen twenty dollars or something. It's high to uh, buy that movie and to rent it. It's expensive, but I really want to see that movie to see with Goldie Hawk. I like that movie. If you've never seen it, uh, I'll, the movie is about her husband um, doing her wrong. But that's a that's one of her good one of her good movies for me. And uh, I do like the one when she fell. I think it's called Overboard. And the and uh, Kirk Russell. I don't think they ever married, but they've been together for ages. Kirk Russell. He used to be the hot male uh, movie star back in the day. I liked when he made those movies Escape from. I think it's called New York. I liked the Overboard with Goldie Hawk and, and Kirk Russell was in that movie too. Another cat that um, I liked his movie is Next to Ken, the, the, uh, the cat that played in Ghosts. Why well, can't his name is escaping me? Patrick Swayze. He Patrick Swayze passed away. Why am I telling you guys this? I don't know. Maybe somebody want to hear. Maybe you guys are up to date with me. Uh, <laughs> some of you guys uh, can relate because you around my era. And you know what I'm talking about. And especially if you know about American Bandstand and Soul Train. <laughs> yep. But yep, yeah, I'm going uh, to fix these Skippy Meat Meals. And enjoy the day. It's been kind of chilly. I'm sitting up here now with the heater on. I've been feeling much better. Thank God. For his minty blessings upon me, grace. Yes, yes, yes. And um, I ain't nothing but a big old sinner. A bunch of everybody else. No one was out is without sin. Each and every day, we are doing some sinning because we're in the flesh. In the flesh, can be tempted and abused and used on a regular. Yes, I have strongholds. That I struggle with every day. Trying not to be used by the Satan and my and, it's, and especially mentally. Those are some hard strongholds, the mental ones. When something gets in your mind and it's just set there, indoctrinated, if that's how you say that. And it's hard to cut loose. That's a stronghold. And it takes mighty prayer, mighty prayer, mighty prayer. To break those bounds, but um, yeah, just have to share. It's a sharing moment, like I tell you, when you have um, things that um, help comfort you, so that you could carry on. But you have to stay in some kind of prayer. I know a lot of people don't believe in stuff, but. Meditation and prayer and breathing. Breathing is life. When you do that breathing, I believe yoga, they do a lot of breathing. But those breathing exercises, yes, Lord, it's good because you're taking in life. Breath is life. If you didn't know that, breath is life. Your nose is filter, but your throat <laughs> is how you stay alive in case you didn't know that <laughs> if your throat close up it's over so I don't know I'm rattling now am I but yes I'm keeping up with the news they still got all these recalls no I'm not eating the fruit yeah, as of yet they got so many recalls I shared a video about whoever is hiring these people that over our food medicines because they have the eye drops being recalled lord have mercy jesus they got so much going on in this world but take care everybody got to go got to fix my food now thanks for watching thanks any and all new subscribers don't forget about my other channels i have the gardening channel and i have my crafting channel if you want to visit uh go check it out Bye. Hey. Okay, my pork stew simmering and my pork enchiladas ready. Cornbread in the oven. Just want to come back through 
and share this a little bit. That's my pork enchilada. Look at that little pork juice right there in the corner. Yum, yum. I have, what is that, green onion. And us black folks over here, we like olives. And chopped white onion and green onion on our enchiladas. We like that. That's how we do it. And this is the pork stew. Potatoes in there, vegetables, pork meat, and the gravy simmering. Got my cornbread in the oven. That's it. That's all I'm sharing. Voila, bon appetito. Get your emergency bag out of the closet, please. Stay ready. Get your emergency bag out of the closet now.